Hi there, this is Diecast Channel and in this video I'm going to show you this 1973 Ford F100 that's made in a 1 to 18 scale by Greenlight. This truck is from the TV show The Walking Dead. I really don't care too much about this TV show but I really like the Ford truck. If you like those Ford trucks, don't miss this video, see it thoroughly and let's go on. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. So we're going to unbox this truck and take a better look at it and do its review. And here we have the Ford truck. It's correctly unboxed. As we can see, it looks quite aged and somewhat dirty. It's quite normal in the countryside where people use those trucks a lot. And those are real tanks because they really last forever. They are also very comfortable and very nice to ride. This is a 1973 F100 Ranger long bed. It has opening doors and opening tailgate. The hood is fixed, but this truck is very rich in details. As we can see, we can see the mirrors, windshield wipers, logos, door handles, seats, dashboard, which is very realistic, steering wheel. It doesn't steer actually, front grill, which is actually a grill. The lines of this truck are very nice. And the open tailgate and the band, which is very well made. The truck looks dirty, really. The hubcaps are very well made as well. As we look at this front grill, we can see that for a 1973 Ford, is, the Ford logo is moved to the grill itself instead of being in the hood. Until 1972, it used to be in the tip of the hood. The grill is very realistic, as well as those headlights and blinkers. The windshield is dirty, it's all dusty and muddy. Doors open correctly. Interior looks very nice. It's also made in blue, just like the the outside. Got the pedals, the steering wheel, which is very realistic. The dashboard is very realistic. It's got the radio, the air outlet, the air outlets, the rear window, the bat, the dirt. Hubcaps are very nice. They're dog dish hubcaps. You can see all those lines, which are very realistic. The blinkers and the Ranger XLT logo in the rear. One more look at the front and interior and a bed with the open tailgate. Tail lights are very realistic. Tailgate is closed, and we can see the Ford logo and a Georgia license plate with a reinforced bumper. Door panels, turns around the dashboard, and the gauges are very nice. The bottom of the truck is quite simple. The base is quite simple. It's body and chassis. We can see the engine and tranny, and the mufflers with a single exhaust. Wheels and tires are perfect. It's not as good as the other models, but it's not as simple as the Dodge Monaco I've shown before. 1977. Right shaft is fixed, rear suspension is fixed, the bed is quite well reproduced. Those lines are very well reproduced. We can see the handle and the lock, which are cast in metal, the mirror, which is a separate piece. The door alignment is correct. It looks, it seems to be a little misaligned, but it's not really. The paint is worn out, just like it's supposed to be in a show. The F100 logo is painted on, hubcaps with Ford Motor Company, and the black wheels, black steel wheels, and the blinkers at the tip of a fender. The antenna, windshield and windshield wipers, the air intake in front, and the front grille and bumper, which look very realistic. As we can see, it's a grille, actually. Headlights are realistic, the blinkers are realistic, the Ford logo is very realistic, pretty much like the original truck. So, this is a real nice piece to have in a collection. That's a, it's a very nice die-cast pickup truck. In the rear, the taillight, Ford logo, Ford is cast in metal, just like in a real car. You have the taillight, which is also dirty. 
and dusty. The bumper which is reinforced and very realistic. The interior also looks very nice. It's got an automatic transmission with the gear lever and a shift and the steering column so there's a three and a three. Two pedals, gas and brake, and a bench seat which is made in black. Any inside mirror. Dashboard is pretty much is a square side and instruments are rectangles. They look really like the ones in a real car. Steering wheel with a Ford logo in the center, the radio, buttons, and knobs, third panel, which is very good, the bed, which is very realistic. On the other side we can see gear lever and the pedals, radio, gauges, the air outlets and a glove compartment with a Ranger logo and a lid. It doesn't open but it's made with such realism as well as the trim. The F100 logo right there, fender. So from 0 to 10 I would give this truck a 9. I just wouldn't give it a 10 because the hood is thick and we can see no engine. So I'd like to thank you for all views, for all likes and comments. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel. I thank you for all subscriptions. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and to click the bell for news. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.